Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here in the start of a new campaign in Kazuridex which we're playing as everyone's favorite Rhodesian state, at least for now, North Rhodesian. But we're playing as a familiar face, a guy named Hans. Just Hans Hutig. And we have two I guess technically three routes. We could play as Hans and keep him the entire time. Go with a Junger or some sort of radical Anglo Evelyn barring his United Empire League, so We'll see, but the fate of Middle Africa is destiny. If you really want to know about this, please go right ahead. Um, if they say no, power should go break. Oh, um, word of ice about playing the other map. So let's take our chances. But Hutig on duty, or on tour of duty, the Ost African Hans Hutig rules over Nord Rhodesia despite the region's perceived independence. For now, the region's fate lies in his hands. As the situation develops to the north and south, all eyes turn to Hutig. Nice. Well, we're still on the Rhodesian for the time being. Eleven years is not enough. That Hilton Young, that never was. Ooh, I like stability. The dreams of unifying the lands of Africa are not new to the region, nor are they new to the Hauptmann Hautig. Just as the Hilton Young Commission tried to bring Africa under closer British control, Hauptmann Hans Hutig will attempt to bring his region of control under the greater control of Dar es Salaam. Oh, yes, yes, please. Uh, we already mobilized our economy, which is kind of insane, but you know what? That's worth it. That's totally worth it here in Africa. Um, let's see, what is next? Oh, there's a little bit of a crash, huh? There's a coup. Victorious Reclamation. As much as I want to do that one, and Hutig is sometimes, sometimes a little crazy, but still. Uh, skirmishes on the border. Darn them, the perfidious backstabbing Anglos to the south, they decided to launch a series of boar skirmishes into our territory. As they attack, they probe our defenses and survey our lands. Getting valuable intel to use against us for the inevitable war for the heart of the Dark Continent. As for now, these attacks are manageable thanks to our brave Ascari and shoots through both regiments, but if we are to survive this harsh environment, improvements on all accounts are going to be necessary. One miscalculation could cost us not only our future, but the future of all Germans across Middle Africa. It's very true. Oh dear. Evelyn Ballring, eh? He's a desert fox, not bad. Uh, not much we do there, but uh, trouble at the border. It seems that only the constant anymore is more as never ending border skirmishes with South Africa and Barring's loyalists. We must rectify that situation soon, unless all of Hauptmann's Hutig's work to pacify the region comes crumbling down. Fortify these guys. Ooh, let's grab this one. Bolster Milwini uh, Lunga. The shoot troop is still unprofessional and prone to faulty equipment. If we are to survive, we must gather the tools to create weapons and fight our greatest battles. Thus, our arsenals must be expanded and our armors bolstered. Hopefully, we do well here. They are fighting over a river. Um, and they can't pierce. Oh, wait. Yeah, they can't pierce our Kampf Drupa division. So, hopefully, we do well. Push me core. Fortify Blanc Blantyre. Oh, uh, Hutig's main foe has been to the south. The Portuguese still have the region as a potential extension of the lands they claim as part of the purple map territories. We're linked to them. We are linked to them. We must prepare to defend against them. Remove military restrictions. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, but I also want stability, so discuss the federal council maybe, or 11 years is not enough. Um, that's not forever. Infrastructure, we're in this together. That's not bad, too. Uh, punishment cabs. Well, Hutu's purpose is not to just administer Northern Rhodesia, but to bring order to the lawless waste, unfortunately. Some people have not gotten the message. We'll have to teach them a message to time to punish traitors and criminals. Oh, absolutely. Nice! We actually have a factory now. Yay! Motorized, civvy trains, victory of the border. Only well, clash between Rhodesian and Zombie forces in the border area. The Zombie forces are reportedly in full retreat. Zombie units have occupied a number of strategic codes around the area and begun to fortify the positions. We're the superior Rhodesia, obviously. We're Germans, for God's sakes. No manpower, but whatever. We're losing any political power. Mm, von Randall. Pretty cheap to promote, so. Well, Shanna. Uh, can we lose, afford to lose 5% stability? You know what, we can. Discuss the Federal Council. Perhaps we can allow a Federal Council to be formed to allow to take some of the burden off the shoot strip of gears in the region. Because we be powerless compared to Hopman Hutig. Or Hutish. Hutig. That's how you pronounce it, I guess. Demobilize it. What hurt us slightly more, but we did get 50 more political power. You know what? Screw it. Do it anyways. There you go. Um, we don't have enough command power for this. God dang it. Look, we're playing in Africa, and if you're playing in Africa, actually, that organizational office is not that good, actually. Minus 5% is not very good. Um, 
you're gonna need as much stuff as possible to help out, so... Luxy Mole? That's fun. I might just go with the last of defense. More defense is nice. I'm looking at the supply consumption. Guns and butter is probably the way we're gonna go. Yeah. Um, discussing union ties. Perhaps we could allow local unions to operate once more in Northern Rhodesia. This will free up some government space and allow more autonomy, local autonomy, just away from the uh, shoot trooper. The federal council is governing this large and populous college grows more and more with each rising crisis. Who takes began to make a muse on the idea of creating a federal council in theory? This bureaucratic addition to the colonial government would alleviate much of the administrative strain off the shoot trooper garrison so they can more thoroughly focus on the military duties, though. It would largely be powerless compared to Hans. It could still prove to be more trouble than it's worth. Though it also appease many of our more vocal critics. Ultimately, the choice lies with us. Allowed. Uh, I don't want this political power, man. You know what? I'm gonna. Ugh. I mean, there's not really that many routes for us, anyways. So, well, our, the initial administration will come to an end if we go down this tree, New Hopman. I don't mind more stability, but I don't want her political power, so I'm gonna allow it. <clears throat> Table amalgamation. We will see greater local autonomy. Table integration. We'll see greater ties. The new Hauptman. Huh. 11 years is not enough. Nothing is but a temporary administration until order could be restored in the region, they said. It was a long time ago. The shoot troops have long overstayed their welcome. The British are more relentless than ever, and it appears that the simple emergency measures have become nearly permanent. But we're going to fortify this place first. Two more land ports. Be very nice. Oh, that's not bad. 18 combat with. And these guys are 14 combat with, with tank. Okay. What I kind of figured. To the local unions, another uh, growing hot topic of conversation is. In the halls of the colonial capitals, the question is zombie and unions. Currently, there are unions banned largely across the colony. Any class collaboration has quickly been crushed for or the fears of festering influence of cynicalism. In regards to these fears, allowing state sanctions unions to operate could satisfy our detractors and through granting more time to the locals, unions would alleviate much of the excess strain our shoot trooper garrisons uh, have been under. As always, if such an important decision lies on us. We're going to mix it up. Let's get some more political power and lower our stability. There you go. Uh, more authoritarian Democrat wouldn't be bad. You get that, you get plus point zero five more political power anyway, so... Is that worth it? Probably not. Oops, my finger slipped. Point four is not very good, but whatever. Cycle in British Ascaris. We may not enjoy the company, the British Ascaris can help with the shoot troopers on their next mission of pacifying the region. Cycling them in and with the shoot troop on their patrols help us desperately needed... Help us gain desperately needed manpower. Table lifting military restrictions. If there's a month of proving anything, it's after the shoot stupid restrictions on the army are detrimental to the security of the region. Perhaps it's time to put the lifting these restrictions on the table. Nah, that'd be good. Because right now we have natural spirits, colonial government, which is not great. We have shoot stupid garrison, which is not good at all. Oh my goodness. And then we have military restrictions, which hurts our manpower. Cannot assign laws and ministers. Can't edit anything here, too, so. Overall, it kind of really sucks. Occupy British Protectorate. Well, who's our big daddy then? I think they're our big daddy, aren't they? Yeah. Table integration. A place not to be dictated, but de to be dictated. Dar es Salaam is the only city where orders are taken from. And Hans Hutek is not only the one who would want to change that. No Rodizia will be Lord of the Hauptman, the Kaiser, and the Schubstrupa, or Table of Amalgamation. Perhaps it's time to take a step back. Locals are fully capable of managing their own affairs outside Dar es Salaam's grasp, after all. Who took in the Schubstrupa's controls only temporary, right? Uh, Table Integration, probably. The new Hauptman? Who took his command was always meant to be temporary, and with our nation on the brink of collapse. A time for serious reevaluation of our government is new. It is now. Time's come for Who took reckoning. A new Hauptman will be installed with the permission of Dar es Salaam. Well, we'll see about that. Yeah. We will definitely, definitely, definitely see about that. Do we have any planes? No, we don't. We don't have very much here, do we? Well, we're going to be low no matter what. What about that one? Uneasy cooperation? Well, this whole situation might be full ideal with that of the Anglos in the region planned. They know that it's better than nothing. Their cooperation went off uh, to the fullest extent possible to allow the shoot stupid to rule the region with a softer hand. Uh, the Northern Rail Link. Jane joined the world today, and we cannot expect a strong government without strong rail links. Expanding upon local rail lines and infrastructure better to connect Nord Rhodesia is vital. We are in this together. 
The remnants of the old British forces in Africa and the sitting German administration might have wildly different goals. However, they still have a common interest. While cooperation may seem like a challenge, it's in the best interest of both the Germans and the British. Table collaboration. Status quo suits is best, so why change anything? The British. I can tell the situation, so are the Germans. For the moment, increased collaboration uh, with the British is the only thing on the table. So, table self determination. Perhaps it's time to let go. The shoots troop of the garrison in the region was only meant to be temporary, anyways. Our promise of no redeeds will be fulfilled. And greater independence from Dar Salaam is on the table. Remove it. British influence in the region will increase. So, we'll probably not go this way. We'll probably go with table collaboration overall in the end, even though everything here is pretty temporary. A new administration, though it was sharply effective and brutally efficient, Hansu takes lesser power and direct control over the colony of Nord Rhodesia. That's caused some detriment de detrimental damage to our stability. They're in the God's foot on the region. This constant regard, disregard for any notion of decentralization out of his grip has made many in the administration nervous, and some of you begin to call for change in leadership. Chief candidate for Hans' replacement is Ernst Junger, another decorative veteran of the Valkyrie and burgeoning author and amateur entomologist. A man of buried taste and sh a sharp. Tactical mind, many feel Junger is the ideal candidate to run the colony. We did go out to rely on support from the collaborator for Gerung from the Rhodesian to have any hope of maintaining control, but many see his days in charge as numbered. So, um, ask to extend his door duty. It's an extension. Step aside. Well, let's say we wanted to keep him here. Then what? Do we get anything else here? No. Stands for anything. We'll keep him. Dar Salaam denies you to the request. Shaisa. It seems like this fool in Dar Salaam denied a simple request and called for Hutu's immediate retirement as helpman of Nord Rhodesia. Let's or face a full amount of the cause of African holdings. This blow to his ego's crushed him, driving him to be less than reasonable to say the least. Frothing in the mouth in sheer anger, Hans demands that a state of emergency be declared so he can gain emergency powers. But cooler heads may prevail, they just manage to get him to relax. After hours of deliberation and argument argumentation between Hutu and his advisors, lords of the Nord Rhodesia decide to. Arrest one for him, follow the, follow the order. So what if we do that? What do you say no? A power struggle will break out. It's a teeny rule. Arrest warrant. Oh. Ignoring the will of the Stah Hitler, Hudik has declared the administration in Dar es to be foolish and short hided. As he and a small force of loyal shoots troop and Oscar ready themselves for the coming conflict, far more Germans and natives have begun to side with Junger and his benefactors they have been issued a warrant for Hutu's arrest. This shocking turn of events has brought near a certain doom for the Junger or the current Hauptmann. A spot of betrayal thickens. The ever scheming Anglo has also started to scuttle from out from underneath the rocks as well. From the south of the colony, with funding and aid coming from South Rhodesia and South Africa, a man known as Evelyn Baring has been inflaming old rivalries and tensions, seeking to seize power in the coming storm of the momentous march of the capital of the colony and return to Rhodesian to his pompous English dogs. With a group, which group? Hundra Anglo. That will win the coming power struggles unknown, but regardless of who steps on top, blood will come to, the, to die the Zambezi Red. Well, now, as much as I want to do this one, let's go with this guy for now. Yunga takes charge. Yeah, I guess Hans is still here for now. Okay, Hans. Mm. All right, Jungo takes charge. That's Jungo, famous veteran of the Valkyrie, he once right-hand man of Hutu, and now stands atop the pile of slain foes and broken promises created by his predecessor. After weeks of fighting Bering's Anglo rifleman, rebellious Oscar, and even Hutu's own loyal cadre, Jungo has emerged victorious. Now comes the monumental task of repairing the broken colony and righting the wrongs of the previous administration. Jungo has even paid lip service to the idea of real democracy. But whether he is a man of his word remains to be seen, regardless of his plans and ambitions. Jungo alone shall choose our new he heading. Heading, and under steely watch, Nord Rhodesian marches towards the future. Long live the Hellman! Hey, Ernst. Um, so I, I really did want to keep Hutik here, but Hauptmann Junger. Hutik's need for control almost drove the German administration into the dirt. For Nord Rhodesia to survive and prosper throughout the future, great reform is needed. Only one man in the administration has seen fit as fit to preside over these reforms, Ernst Junger. Reign in the Schutztruppe of the frontier. The shoot troopers unquestionable or uncontrolled authorities cause the government of the region to exist or exi to exist in a non-functional state. With Hutu gone, of course, Junger is taking it upon himself to reign in the shoot trooper, removing them from all political and governmental affairs. Expansion of the intellect. Huh. Interesting. A pledge of the people. Come and tell if he keeps it. It's the Portuguese. Standing against South Africa. So we'll see how far we get with this one. The frontier. Lands of Nord Rhodesian sit largely unsecured against powerful enemies in both the East and South. The Afrikaners, Portugal, and the other looking Anglo sits ready to strike, and we must be prepared. Pretty much. Get some better guns, and we're going to grab some artillery immediately because we really could use some artillery. Um, a man with many disciplines. As Jung is one of the more interesting men to live in the great patchwork of the Middle African mega colony. A brave veteran of the Valkyrie and an avid lover of nature throughout his life, it's no wonder that how he came to reside in the colony of Nord Rhodesian. 
In his youth, he participated with a myriad of Van der Vogel groups in the Kaiserreich, trekking through the wilds and garnering an unwavering appreciation for life in the great outdoors, joining up with the French Foreign Legion for a time, an illegal and treasonous act in the eyes of the Kaiserreich, Junger, traveled to the French colonies in Africa where he fell in love with the Dark Continent. With the final guns of the Valkyrie drawing silent, he had become a highly decorated soldier, using what he learned in the war to write his magnum opus, Storm of Steel, a memoir of peace on the horrors and glories of the trenches he witnessed on the Western Front. Moving to the colonies post-war as a hero and a scholar, he integrated himself well into the African regime. On arrival, he took an interest to colonial politics, where his national conservative views would be appreciated by the German administration, while also finding time to delve into his love for writing and naturalistic pursuits. Studying marine biology, cons conservation, zoology, entomology, botany, and philosophy, just to name a few pursuits, Junger prided himself on a sharp and tactful mind. Now, the old intellectually gifted veteran has risen to the top of the hierarchy in Northern Rhodesia, finding himself to be the successor to Hans Hutte's tyrannical regime. Under his common measured guidance, Northern Rhodesia will show whether any coming storm. A true Renaissance man of the African continent. Ensure Anglo collaboration. The British have been suspicious of the German ever since uh, they occupied the region after the revolution. However, Hutig's occupation broke any trust the British had in the Germans who were securing the region. For a younger administration to survive, we must rebuild this trust. Anglo cooperation and support for reforms. For German rule to survive in Africa, mass reforms must be needed on every level, including Zambia. The corrupt, nepotistic, and inefficient administration in the region must be completely overhauled. And to do this, we need support from the army, administration, and the people. An expansion of the intellect. Jung is no stranger to intellectual and upper class circles who are just as terrified about Hutik's rampant authoritarianism as he was. With Jung successfully having banished the ghoulish Hutik from Zambia's administration, he can begin expanding libraries, archives, and schools instead of military barracks. Restore local democracy. While Zambia may not be ready for full democracy just yet, restoring democratic elections on a local level is sure to bolster people's trust in Junger's administration. Perhaps a pathway to full democracy could come soon after. Support for reforms, of course. Yeah. For, for German rule to survive in Africa, mass reforms must be needed for every developer, including Zambia. Yeah. Play to the people. Uh, democracy on a national level shut down, but once by Hutig uh, and the Shoots Trooper took power in the region. Now, Junger has made a promise that in t sometime soon, national level democracy will return to Zambia. Perhaps not today, perhaps not tomorrow, but soon that is Junger's pledge. Standing against the Portuguese? Yeah. Standing against South Africa. Uh, North Rhodesia, or South Africa and Rhodesia, have long been gearing up to secure Zambia and Nyasa line for years. They've been gearing up attacks for us for years and have been helping bearing his UEL. And the goal of expelling Hunnic boots from Zambia permanently, they gotta be stopped. And dress their army. The veteran disbandment of the army never has left her army nearly uh, defenseless, save for the Schutztruppe, garrison guarding the nation. <clears throat> With massive upheaval in the recent months has changed, we now have an army of our own, which is not bad, but unfortunately, that's all really the time we have for today. I don't have much time for this one, but hey, if you enjoyed the video, and even though we didn't get getting to keep Utik for now, which we'll get him again in some other time, please do consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And we'll see you tomorrow. See what else we can do with Nol Rodizi. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.